What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.3.1 to any device capable of running iOS 11. It's a pretty small update, you can get it for yourself right now as always by heading over to settings, general, and software update, but let's go ahead and talk about what's new. The changelog says iOS 11.3.1 improves the security of your iPhone or iPad and addresses an issue where touch input was unresponsive on some iPhone 8 devices because they were serviced with non-genuine replacement displays. Apple goes on to say, note, non-genuine replacement displays may have compromise visual quality and may fail to work correctly. Apple certified screen repairs are performed by trusted experts who use genuine Apple parts. See supports.apple.com for more information. And as always, for more information on the security content, you can visit the link right here. I feel like we've seen this issue happen in the past with older versions of iOS and older iPhones when you got a non-genuine Apple screen put on your iPhone or one that was a little bit cheaper, a little bit lower quality. After updating to a newer version of iOS, for whatever reason, sometimes it just wouldn't work correctly would not perform as expected. So I'm glad that Apple recognized that there is an option other than just going to them and is allowing users that got their screens replaced from a place other than Apple to actually interact with and use their iPhone 8 because sometimes going straight to Apple can be a little bit expensive and while you generally get the best experience there, you can find cheaper options elsewhere. All things considered though, I don't think the issue was that widespread. No one that I knew was experiencing this issue and while I definitely saw some people pop up online saying, yo, I updated at iOS 11.3 and my screen is no longer working. Hopefully it is fixed for you in this update. It was definitely, I think, a small number of users overall that were affected, but it's still good to see that Apple did correct this issue, even for the small number of users that were probably affected. But that's not the only fix in iOS 11.3.1. If we head over to the security fixes section, there are a number of changes here. Apple says there was a fix for Crash Reporter. An application would be able to gain elevated privileges before. That should have been corrected. Link presentation, this is one I've not really heard of before, but it says processing a maliciously crafted text message may lead to UI spoofing that has also been fixed. WebKit, it always seems like there's a fix for something in regards to processing maliciously crafted web content leading to arbitrary code execution that has been corrected, and another WebKit fix pretty much saying the exact same thing. Thing. And after that last WebKit fix, those are all the changes inside of iOS 11.3.1. There are no new big features, no new wallpapers or ringtones or anything really fun to look at. Sometimes updates like iOS 11.3.1 are necessary so that everybody running iOS has a consistent and good overall experience. So if you enjoyed watching or you learned something new, make sure to drop a like down below. And if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you want to help support the channel, you can head over to shop.iupdateos.com. That would be incredible. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.